Let's get ready to rumble. Bum, 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 yeah, I, I think this overall experience would just be generally enhanced if I had uh, just a whole bunch of really crappy sound bites to throw on top of this. <laughs> Rumble Arc here. I think this is one of the more obvious maps. The second you see the, uh, if if you know the map, of course, the second you see the deployment screen, because uh, that that's that's kind of noticeable. The gigantic wall of rock. Looks like we're getting some people who uh, appreciate the map. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's the point. I'm hoping that there will be more workshop maps with, and more inter more importantly, more interest in playing on not pillars. I'd like to use some of the 10 player maps, but they have, because some of them really work for 4v4. Obviously, Canon doesn't. Kenyon doesn't, but maps like uh, Salar, and there's a there's a ice crystal map that works, but it's kind of hard to herd the cats into four v four formation in public games. I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. I'll try that sometime soon. Team one, ANS. Team two, OSP. Pretty well rounded skill setup. Some. Gold, a few silvers, a couple blues. Got Hephaestus here. Ready to hammer on some unsuspecting swords in his forge. That's that's a rocky metaphor, huh? On a rocky map. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these guys. A couple mass drivers. Gun Ocello. T30, not sure what he's planning to get done with that. No plasma on this team. Containers. What do you got on those containers? Rockets, mines, and decoys. Well-rounded. With uh, C65s. Could end someone's day. Rapid cycle. couple rapid cycles. couple ammunition elevators. So this thing is ready to fight. And fight hard and just stand in that line and deliver. Aha, here we go. Plasmas, some T30s. Not a lot of plasma, but a little bit. And those 450s can help with the armor denting, depending on the target. A couple more direct combat Ocellos. There have been so many Ocellos and a naked scout. Okay, it's just an engine in a command center. Oh, that's menacing. T-30s, presumably these monitors are festooned in plasma. Two plasmas and a pinpoint. Is the pinpoint on the nose? Uh-oh, that's a problem. This pinpoint, I don't think it can aim at things directly in front of the ship. So the angling on this is going to be weird. It's also going to have some issues aiming down in this direction. Because uh, pinpoints can cant up, I think, 70 degrees. But they can only cant down about 5 so that's really gonna that's really gonna mess with the accuracy on that. But we'll see how it works for him. Four total plasma on this team could cause some trouble because those T30s. This ship is thin enough that all of these T30s could be firing at something below or above it. Very dangerous. What is this? Is that one? Oh my god! Yeah, that is uh, one single destroyer with a literal boat load <laughs> of missiles all right hybrids specifically that is that's unsafe and more missiles type 3 and type 2 hydras 80 type 2 hydras that's insane okay some hits on this naked scout kind of a waste of munitions so like you got decoys that's going to be very effective against the puppies since they already have trouble hitting things no, wrong team. Snowblind. What's Snowblind bringing? Just guns. Now some H3s. H3s and a whole lot of guns. Lock-up radars on his support frigates. That's a pretty powerful fleet. Tonnage-wise, 
Uh, anus is kind of light. Got uh, three voxels, a bunch of frigates, one destroyer, two destroyers. What are we gonna get the G affix on the end of it? Like on the HUD. It's very interesting. Maybe from not having a spinal mount? I don't know. Okay. okay. Let's see what's going on. Boxers being taken. But E war going down the field. Everybody's jamming each other. And this naked Boy, ah, this is not a naked one, and this has a lockup radar. It's getting hammered with RPF. And since that lockup can't get in range, Snowblind's fleet's gonna have. This is a nice little paint scheme with the black and the teal and the, and the, and the little snowflake here. That looks cool. Yeah, not really gonna be able to hit a maneuvering voxel and a sprinter. Their nose is pointed towards you. With no lock. This problem looks like one of these is locked. Aha, you're locked. Who are you locked by? Presumably those. Or maybe one of these. Mm. Yeah, that pinpoint's not on. That pinpoint's not on, so it's gotta be one of these. Or this? Who is this? And it's just not showing that the pinpoint is locking. Yeah, it's pointing in that direction, so it's definitely this. Huh. Interesting. Or maybe this? No, that's pointing the wrong way. Pretty sizable gun battle happening up here. But these voxels, or this voxel, I should say, is just dodging everything and returning fire on a corpse, which is not something you really want to be doing. Sarissa's coming out to handle those hybrids. Unstaged hybrids are highly vulnerable to Sarissa's, but they're just gonna miss. What are the chances of that? Oh. Oh, that's a big problem, because if these stage, those Sarissa's are not going to be able to handle it. Absurd volume of fire coming out, but doesn't matter. Strong hit, one hard kill, two hard kills, but got a real powerful hit on that midsection. Could be a big problem. Is someone spamming missiles? Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's not exactly spam, but that is a sizable volley. Clunk. Well, that's uh, that's one monitor. One plasma monitor is going to be in real bad shape. That's unfortunate because this thing really needs the plasma monitors to support it. Otherwise, it's it's T30s just aren't going to do much damage. Although this side of the map is mostly yeah, it's mostly smaller ships. This Axford is pretty much immune to those T30s. Ooh, okay, those are going to be handled. But all these destroyers and sprinters over here are right pickings. Those T-30s. Looks like someone's finally gotten a lock on this voxel. Oh, yes. And that spells doom. Fun fact, lock is actually an anagram for doom. You can, uh, you can work that out by yourself with our home game. If you brought your pen and paper and patented nonsense anagram generator. I mean, very real anagram generator. Saloon. <laughs> Honky Tonk, those are some good names. A lot of fire coming in from those smaller rounds, but onto the bow of the voxel, that's not really gonna do that much. It's taken a couple plasma hits, but I don't think it's taken enough to be Roasted to the point of the T30s being able to being very effectual. However, the 450s are absolutely going to crunch the front end of this thing. Not much in the way of deflections there. A couple hybrids coming out. Oh, 
But the flak is strong enough. Nice. And the AMMs. Yeah, so uh, here's what happens when a whole lot of bullets hit a very small and unarmored target. Well, nothing, because they're all going to miss. <laughs> yeah, need those target locks, folks, especially against sprinters and voxels. Destroyers are less of a problem. There are a few hits. Maybe? No, not really. Destroyers are a lot more boxy. And, and tend to be too busy angling to be able to dodge like this can. Uh, it's getting cooked by plasma fire, though. That is a big problem. Little little small fight going on over Alpha here over here. Or, uh, Atlas, I guess I should start using the uh, Space NATO alphabet for the points. Let's see, we got Atlas Boxer, <sighs> Comet Dagger Eclipse. It's a little bit less confusing. It'll also help when people put out uh, Sig Warns when I'm playing. Cause you can call the Sig Warns by their NATO alphabet name and then the oh my goodness points by their correct quote unquote space NATO name. That is eh, that is that's a lot of damage one might say. These are going to be doing the opposite of that. Unfortunately, so I think they would have annihilated that ship, given that Pavis was not able to catch him, even though they were unstaged. You can tell sprinters, or you can tell uh, hybrids, staged by their trail. The drive trail for unstaged missiles are orange, like the ships, and the staged missile trails are blue. A little, little FF for you, fun fact. Man, that is... What is the track quality on that? That is the worst <laughs> accuracy I've seen today. <laughs> Just a full... Oh, man. Yeah, those mass drivers aren't doing that much either, eh? Beams? Uh, this support destroyer attached to this Axford. Where is this Axford, by the way? Just kind of hanging around the middle of the around the middle of the back side of the map, floating around, having a good time, not really engaging anything directly. I think this voxel is going down. Oh yeah, going down is a bit of an understatement. There, it is down, just barely being kept in the fight by this. Uh, well, just barely eating rounds because of this reinforced CIC up here, which has gone down. And that ship's out of here. Oh yeah, full grade out, full grade out, completely grade out. Nothing but T-30s and plasma. Wow, oh, that's not true, but that's right. The uh, 450 Acellos were up here as well, dealing damage, but it's, I think it was mostly due to those T-30s, man. Whole lot of bullets are uh, pretty good, pretty good. Got some type two hybrids. Devilfish, that's a good name for a missile. I think they're going to run right into this rock up here. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's going to run into it. Bonk. A couple get through, though. Three of them. Uh, that's going to catch the edge of that. Yep. That's a big problem. Got to be careful with those. I think that's one of the reasons I bring and other people bring a whole lot of spam with the containers because it's really easy to accidentally fire those into rocks. Because uh, everybody who plays this game, including me, is a fucking idiot because this is the most complex game known to mankind. Uh, I think you're out of the fight. Yeah, you're out of the fight. Two restores, but... Uh, 
Could get back into it with those plasma. Well, one of the plasma guns is alive. What? Ah, T81. It doesn't show up as plasma. It's T81. Because, of course, calling it plasma would be too simple and non military. Oh no, this Axford is going to be having a bad, very short rest of his life if these plasma hits keep landing like that. Especially with these Ocellos coming around the corner over here on Boxer. He's going to get hit by plasma on both sides, unless these get destroyed by this volley of missiles that are coming in. This Voxel has been toast for so long, guys. Why are you bullying him? Poor Snowblind. Ooh, Flak is not going to be enough against these Sprinter stages. Boom, boom. Two hits, not three. No HEKB, fortunately, for those Ocellos. But that's still a lot of damage on the nose. Well, the lockers is out. He's going to have to repair that. We got another three coming in. And they're all going to connect. Oh, reactor immediately on fire. Sun drive going critical. And the lower cannon is going down. Okay, so it's still got... Where's the plasma? I don't think this is the one with the plasma. No, this isn't the one with the plasma. This is the one with the guns. This is the one with the plasma. And these are in good working order. Which, if they can get angled and start firing at the Axford, which is right there. Which they are, yes, good. That's gonna cause some real problems for that. That's more AMMs going down. Let's get a bigger look at this. Wow, these sprinters are working their little heinies off, trying to illuminate and jam at the same time. Oh, this one seems to be... Turning around? I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, OSP is pretty strong map control. Looks like they're going to be taking Alpha before too long. Or not. This Ocello is getting hit kind of hard by the Voxel in mid. This little Voxel firing off another Velmi. You've seen how effective those are. Ah, and the Plasma ships have switched to the Voxel. I'm not entirely sure about that. I agree that this is a high-priority target. I just don't think the plasma is very useful against the voxel because it's kind of hard to land the hits. Where are these going? Oh, this these are coming out of this. And they're sprinter direct stage firing at this ship. And it's going to connect. Let's come up here. Yeah, a couple more connects on the side of this. And that able to actually tank. I don't know if it's pure accident or if this player is doing a good job of keeping his front towards the enemy. It's very important to do that, especially when you're in something like an Ocello. So you can get the angling off these, off this armor shape and get deflections and take damage on the front where you have things that are important but not critical instead of right in the butt, which a lot of people have been taking lately, and uh, losing the core of your ship Looks like that monitor fleet's getting wiped out pretty handedly. Getting a few plasma hits on this voxel, which will help. But the T-30's down. I think this is the T-30. Yeah, this is... Well, it's a T-30. Isn't there another one over here? Yeah, this guy, which I cannot click on. Game doesn't like me clicking on things at the edge of my... Ah, no, this is the uh, C-65. Okay. I think there's probably or the plasma would probably be served better on this Axford, but it's it's taken it's lost some armor, so that's useful. It's just hard to hit voxels, especially with plasma with the slow missile speed. It's really hard to hit voxels if they're maneuvering, which can be a big problem. And any voxel player with assault is gonna be maneuvering. Although preferably not with your engine pointed towards the enemy. I guess it's less important on this ship, since. Speed probably matters more getting away. Because it's got missiles. Speaking of, how many missiles does it have left? Quite a few, considering that these are all... Woo! Hybrids. That is a pricey ship. You do not want to lose that before it's done firing. Might even want to think about firing missiles over here while retreating. Uh-oh. Request denied. <laughs> 3 out of 3. Fiery Emancipation. That's, uh, that's kind of dark. But that's fine. AMMs going out. I'm not sure if these are AMMs heading out or if these are Type 1 missiles. 
being target fired at something and just slamming into this wall. I don't know what they're being shot at, but might be this guy. Might not be shoot getting shot at anything. Well, looks like these are going to be towed into the wall and then yeah, killed by point defense. Good defensive on this. Sword of Arist is out of here. It's this guy. That's your. This is still combat capable. Okay, and so is this, and so is this. That's unfortunate. No, it's not a disconnect because it wouldn't have two surrender messages. That's what happens when someone manually surrenders and then disconnects through the escape menu. If it's a random DC, it'll get just one surrender and one disconnect message. So that was an active choice. If I'm right about that. This missile destroyer has not really participated in the game thus far. Yeah, I think those might be the first missiles it's fired. And it's going uh, directly into the Abandoner's ship. So that's not really going to help that much. This shuttle's just big chilling on Echo, making sure nothing can take it. Not a bad idea considering the condition it's in. If it goes into... Oh! Combat, it's going to be in big trouble. So much jamming! Coming out of the ANS fleet, I don't know how the OSP is shooting anything or even attempting to shoot anything. But this Axford has got to be locked up. Oh, yes. Jamming isn't going to help there. I don't know if there's any amount of jamming that can uh, override a lock or kick off a... Like, remove a lock from a target. If there is, if anybody has done the math or the science or the testing on that, please let me know. Because that would be some interesting information. Even if it's something comical, like you need, you know, 5,000 points of dedicated jamming ships to do it. It would be interesting to know that. This ship has seen better days, uh, though it's not going to see any more better days. It's going to die. These Ocellos are damn scary. And with this casemate getting into the fight, finally getting through here. Yeah, doing the long-range thing is kind of tricky on Bulwark since it's divided in half by this big old wall. And if you're going to be fighting on one side or the other and not over the points in the middle of it, you have to be on the side that the fight is taking place. Long-range point, uh, long-range combat isn't really practical without some extremely long-range missiles. Look at the deflections on this sprinter. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen a sprinter just deflect rounds. These are obviously T-30s. It's good to know. Beams! Uh-oh. Someone's getting lasered. And it's an Ocello. That's a big problem because these things have a lot of armor. And the big counter to a lot of armor is... Beams! Although, this thing... Just one beam isn't that great. Especially if you're firing... Uh, Missiles into, yeah, missiles into a wall. So that was an AMM. Everyone leaves their anti-missile systems on automatic, and it makes me twitch. I mean, I understand there's, like, a lot of things going on in the game. It's kind of impossible to manage everything. But I, I, I really, I really like managing my anti-missile stuff. I think it's fun. I also think it's really important to do it. Otherwise, you're going to run out of anti-missile stuff very early and get exploded. Uh, that's just a personal thing. That's I mean, it's perfectly understandable. It just bothers me on a on a, on a personal level. Cause I'm a snob. End of line. End of story. Man, these plasma. Oh, CIC gets shot out. Yep, that is exactly what happened. Bye bye. You're dead. It's also kind of hard to use the tactical map on this match with a big wall of fucking green in the middle of it. Oh, these devilfish hybrids coming out corkscrewing bonk directly into the front of that tug that could be a real problem I don't know how much other especially with all this jamming going out yeah there's not that much radar capability around the bullseye on this Ocello is out and 
Yeah, okay, so there's one bullseye on this side of the map. For the OSP team. Which can counteract that jamming. I don't know. Do you have a pinpoint? No. And, uh, yeah. So, to deal with the jamming, there's one bullseye. <laughs> which is not going to be enough. OSP team could be in big trouble. Although the Rangers are getting close enough now that they might be able to visually engage their targets. Which don't give the most accurate fire. They are. I mean, it, it still works. This Axford is finally going down after all of the combat it's seen. It's been just sitting here and boxing a pretty large chunk of the OSP team. That plasma on it doing work over the long run. Oh boy. Here we go. Where is it going? Where is it going? Right into the scout that's already been damaged enough that it's not participating. Oh no, it's got a pinpoint. Yeah, that needs to be destroyed quickly. I think... I I don't know who wins this. OSP's had the point and cap advantage for a while, but with the OSP ships dying off, the small sprinters... Oh, a whole lot of hits on the Honky Tonk. Here, right in the front. T-30's down. Plasma's damaged. It's, can still fire, but not for long. All it's got left is a T-20 and the magazine's cooking off. And yeah, it's got a couple of restores, but if this has anything else in its arsenal, it's probably going to spend them five missiles. Going to have to spend those very carefully. Because there are two Ocellos still on the map and in fighting-ish shape. And this Voxel's about all the ANS team has left that can fight fight. I mean, it's got plenty of sprinters for capping, and that might just secure him a win anyways. Why shoot your enemy when you can just st step on his belongings? Like a big mean guy just kicking over the, uh, the space sand castle of the OSP here. Yeah, and that's... I think you're out of missiles, buddy. No, nope, got three more at least. That's going to be the last three. Going to have to spend it to kill these monitors. That's not a bad idea. Uh, I think it's kind of kind of the only option, really, is what's going on there. This voxel cannot stand up to this Ocello fire. Right, who, wants to, who wants to watch the ship die? Oh, I already got hit. Oh, it's hybrids. When they stage, they stage fast. Clonk. Yeah, that'll finish that off. So, good job. You killed a shuttle with a whole fleet and a lot of its missiles. I mean, he also shot some missiles into these that this guy had already abandoned. Obviously, you didn't know that. But that's, that's very unfortunate. It's clever to come up from the bottom of the map because uh, no one looks down or up because even in 3D space, most people, myself included, are used to 2D space games. Or pseudo 3D space games. Where it pretends to be 3D, but it's actually 2D. Guess yeah, Sins of Solar Empire comes to mind. So it's, it's, it's hard. It's complicated. It's... 3D space is messy. Looks like this voxel is finally going to eat it. Or maybe not. I mean, that's grape shot. That's not really... Even with the plasma, I don't think that's going to do hardly anything. Yeah, it's not. Is that all you have left? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, there really is plenty of HE, but it's not, that wouldn't be that much better. These mills are just not very, uh, very good at killing things. It's 450. It's going to be on him to wrap it up. But I think the ANS might win the point game. I've got more ships on the field and faster ones. Significantly faster ones. OSP fleet is just tight in right here. Although there is an Ocello going for Delta. Looks like something's capping Echo, right? It's being capped from the OSP.
Push. Plasma just seems more inaccurate than other guns. I don't know if it's because of the really long travel time. Or if the guns just inherently have a little less accuracy. Uh, that information would actually be findable in the fleet editor, so I can just go do that at some point. If I can ever get away from hosting and watching games and casting to you, dear viewer. Is this going to withdraw? It might get out of the fight. Again, I, th I think you sh should get like 5 or 10 points on your score. Or like one tick of, uh, depending on how many caps you have, you get one tick of that. That, that, eh, yeah, I think that would be interesting. Although that opens now. That's, you could do a lot of weird cheese with shuttles and sprinters with that. I, I, I don't want to open the fucking Pandora's box on that one. It'd, it'd be neat. But Silly Billies would ruin it. This is still I was trying so hard to get to Alpha. He's burning on flank. No brakes. Very few laterals. Just the main drive. And that's kind of it. Uh, the sprinter can get there before any of these sprinters can get there before he can cap the point. He might be able to keep it or keep it from being capped. Well, those 66s are kind of dangerous. It's certainly not without teeth. 20 minutes remaining. Oh, I think the Shelter Alliance has done it. Junkyard Dog is spoiling for a fight. And he's finding it. Ooh. Without a good lock. Oh, no. Without a good lock, all the bullets in the world aren't going to help you. He's in turn locked up. Which could be devastating. Please take me over there when I press the key to do that. There's a rocket container going out. Why these little missiles going after this Ocello? I really want to see what this container does. Oh, it's just going to get shot. Yep. Oh, no, it's staged. Oh, don't do that. It looks like this got hit by a couple. Not all of them. Where are these going? In nowhere. Awesome. Looks like he's just gonna barely the enemy zone take Alpha since the wind defenders are amazing against containers. Even if they're not masked up, just one container is hard countered by that one defender. Okay, good. They're 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 helping him. This fleet's gonna take Bravo. Ooh, a few missiles going into the side of you. Boy, the kill. Yep, and this is exactly why Pavis aren't that great on the OSP side because Anis likes to do fast missiles. Because they, they kind of need it to get through the bodies. Of course, yeah, that works. Flak also just looks cooler than any other sort of anti missile system. You can't change my mind. There's explosions going off all over the place. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Is to watch explosions in space. This. This poor little monitor. 
How are you still in the game? It can't even get turned around to shoot at his attacker. Oh, that's because he's shooting at a uh, sprinter. Looks like he was killed a few moments ago with a space oil. Nearby. Of course, the player doesn't realize that, presumably. Oh, another monitor headed for the withdrawal zone. Probably gonna make it. I don't think anything's really firing at that. Yeah, no, that's firing at that. Taking fire from... Aha, uh -huh, you. And might soon be taking fire from the junkyard dog here. Although it looks like he's trying to angle in on the sprinters some more. I'm not sure why he's obsessed with the sprinter. Well, because that's the game winners right there. These sprinters, I just don't think you're going to be able to catch them. Cap and points. It's all about cap and points. And I think that's about that. Yeah, that's retreating. This is coming over here to fight, but I don't think it's going to be able to fight for long enough before that voxel kills it. I don't know, this voxel's going down fast. real fast He's trying to get out of the line of fire there we go well unfortunately having a bad uh, radar Ooh, even the rockets don't hit picture of a voxel is a good way to not land anything because they move quite quickly the thruster power at critical I think he's in flank and burning through what little thrusters he has but it is Totally worth it. We'll let him go. Yeah, and ass has capped all the points. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a... No way the OSP is coming back from this. I mean, this guy's in full health, but he can't... He just can't cap the points fast enough. It's a uh, very interesting, very interesting guy you have operating that turret. He's either highly inebriated or just kind of playing games. Oh, there we go. Looks like the pinpoint finally got a track, but grape shot isn't really going to be doing anything, even on a plasmid sprinter. Kind of depressing how much damage grape shot, how little damage grape shot, I should say, does to really anything. I mean, it's more of a PD weapon or a crew killer, but uh, I don't even think it's that good at that. Losing crew doesn't matter too much, except for the except for the screams that will keep you awake at night. Other than that, yeah, it's not really any big deal. Pretty pathetic little knife duel over here. <clears throat> that's, uh, yeah, that's the game. Go ahead and stay in tactical mode so the game won't slow down any. Unless someone breaks out of few hundred containers at the last second though I don't think that's very likely you never know what's up the sleeve of sprinter players well I could have thousands millions of containers tucked away in these little things in a, in a pocket dimension I'm gonna play the uh, Monty Python intermission music <laughs> That's kind of what's going on now. In the old, in the the old mop up stage. Uh oh. I don't think his monitor has any point defense. Not other than that grape shot and that uh, those T 30s are busy. Busy shooting at that sprinter. Speaking of sprinters, this 
Interstage of Missile with decoys. Bonk. HEKP across the bow. Gonna take out those guns. That was a good game. I agree. Yeah, very GG. Indeed. That was a really good match. It's fucking incredible. It was most of the combat took place on the ANS side of the map, which would suggest that they're the losing side, but uh, it allowed them to concentrate their forces and concentrate their firepower, and then cap, cap very effectively. I don't know why that always happens at the end of matches. And there's I've reset my computer a few games, and it's only been these past couple games that that's been happening. That didn't happen. Last week or the week before. 8K on this one single ship that his entire fleet was made out of. Didn't fire most of his rounds. Or did? Oh, God. Yeah, it did. Just most of them missed or were hard killed. That's a... Uh, that's a big problem. A huge problem, actually. We saw a lot of those drive directly into walls. I think those would count as hard kills and not misses for some reason. Look at that. 15k on this. See that? that that's a little more. It's a little more respectable out of a missile ship. Uh, yikes. That's kind of a problem, though. <laughs> Might want to really think. I don't know what the problem was. Here, HOJ. I'm not sure what HOJ stands for. Hybrid orange juice. That's that's probably it. His command fires were doing work. 40 lands. Wow, and he still had more. Maybe the sections that had more got damaged, and so couldn't fire. Good God, who was this? Snowblind. 25,000 damage across two voxels is pretty nasty. Especially considering the first voxel got bonked 10 minutes in. Biocellos and 450 uh, line ships. Line ship. Puh, single, singular. This thing was just tooling around and blasting the whole battle. Oh boy. Even hybrid's getting a little working. His ship tried, but couldn't really get in. So Axford did less than I expected. I was expecting this to be significantly more. He might have been, due to the target-rich environment, he might have been switching targets too often, which caused these to spend too much time turning around and not enough time fighting, which can really push your damage down. Let's see. I don't know. That's a lot of rounds expended. Might have been, might have been because it's firing 450 ATs at Acellas. You really want the APs for that if they haven't been hit by anything yet. That's uh, it's not enough damage there, Chief. That's unfortunate. I thought these did way better than this, but no, just. There just wasn't quite enough plasma going down the field. Yeah, three hits, 23 hits. Not enough. Let's take a look at the, yeah, 30 <laughs> on the Ocello with the plasma, with one plasma cannon. That's a big problem. Junkyard Dog didn't really get hit by anything, but didn't do that much damage either. Problem was the accuracy fired off a lot of rounds, but just couldn't fire at anything that he had a good track on. F spent a lot of time shooting at voxels too, and voxels with 450 at long range is a good way to just miss your shots. And that's that's the team. This wow, a 
that's also kind of depressing. Mm, T30s, a couple mass drivers. Yeah, it just didn't do that much. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, this was the guy that uh, quit out. Right, he went, he capped Alpha, and he just sort of chilled over there for like 10 minutes, and then he peaced. Okay, that's what's going on there. All right, Anus victory. Uh, good job. It was a very good game. Enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you did too. I'll see you next time.